Hey guys, welcome back to So Back Sports, and I'm so back with another video. And I want to talk about the new additions to Jim Harbaugh's staff for the Los Angeles Chargers. And before we get into this video, thank you guys so much for 100 subscribers. I really appreciate every single one of you. And let's move on to 500 subscribers now. And going with this, I mean, this is a huge deal when it came to signing Greg Roman as their offensive coordinator for the Los Angeles Chargers. Greg Roman, as you all know, was a previous offensive coordinator for the Baltimore Ravens a couple of years ago. And right now he's getting his second chance as an offensive mind for Jim Harbaugh staff. And this is definitely, like, as Ian Rappaport says right here, a huge hire for Jim Harbaugh, locking in one of the most accomplished offensive coordinators. And that is true because he was able to still unlock Lamar's running ability further and help him win an MVP. However, he had some deficiencies when it comes to his play calling and use, focused on a more run-heavy rather than pass-heavy offense. So that could be posing a little bit of an issue because a lot of Chargers fans and Ravens fans will are kind of like, oh, why would the Rave the Chargers think about signing Greg Roman? But I think the experience is what is really important to Jim Harbaugh because creating a staff is definitely tough, but having a guy like Greg Roman who has been in the league, who is like coached under like for a team like the Baltimore Ravens is like really good to have for developing a culture and alongside Jim Harbaugh who has had experience in the NFL like you know he's worked with another Harbaugh and John Harbaugh so like this ends up working out for them in in general and I feel like for the most part, Harbaugh's probably gonna call a lot of the plays too. Like they'll probably work together to kind some find some like medium maybe. I don't know. Let me know down in the comments below what you think about the offensive coordinator for signing for Greg Roman because I'm kind of like iffy about it. I'm not super like happy about it. Or if I were a Chargers fan specifically, I'm not super happy about it, but. I feel like it all really depends on who they end up bringing in in terms of weapons for um, Justin Herbert. And I'll be going more in depth in this video about like, you know, who is a free agent, who is available, who is going to be a target for them in the draft. So moving on, because uh, we're going to talk about this in a bit, uh, the Chargers also made another hire for bringing in defensive coordinator Jesse Minter as their defensive coordinator for the Chargers. Um, Jim Harbaugh has worked with Jesse Minter in Michigan, and from what I know, I mean, I don't know much about him, but based on the fact that he was able to work with Harbaugh and the fact that he won with Harbaugh for an NCAA title, like, you know, it can only be good things for him. Um, what will he do on the defensive side? We shall see. But yeah, I feel like this is a very good hire too. Like, you know, get that familiarity with the head coach and, you know, develop the defense. Because the overall, the defense, like for the Los Angeles Chargers, is still really good. It's just that they're kind of in need of a couple more pieces on the defensive end to, for them to be really elite. And. Last season, they were, you know, they won technically the off season with the amount of, like, signings they made. But, like, at the end of the day, it only ended up with five wins this season. And it really wasn't their fault. It was just, like, more of, like, a collapse for of Brandon Staley and whatnot. So, yeah, the Chargers are in good hands in terms of their offensive staff. The only issue is that if Greg Roman commands a lot of the run game more, I think it will kind of hurt. Justin Herbert, but I feel like Harbaugh is there to mediate that. So we shall see. So looking at the Chargers situation in terms of the draft, the draft wise, like from what I remember hearing, um, let's see. So the yeah, for example, the Chargers really need two of these things because this draft is filled with quarterbacks, wide receivers, edge rushers, O linemen, and D linemen. But they really need a wide receiver 
and a defensive lineman. So, can we, given that Keenan Allen and Mike Williams, Mike Williams has a lot of injury history, and Keenan Allen has been their top receiver. Adding another young receiver through the draft could really be helpful for a Justin Herbert and an um, offensive mind like Jim Harbaugh. So, going to where's that? Okay, going to a mock draft selection for the three rounds. According to this, don't really listen to that because it's going based off of the, you know, the tankathon like draft and what um, order it is. I feel like if they get a chance to get neighbors, I think neighbors should go to the Chargers if they can get him like pretty early. Or um, what did what the other one like defensive lineman? Defensive lineman you can focus on later on in the you know, like later on in the draft. It's not a big deal. I think it mentioned like offensive tackle, cornerback. I don't know about that, but let's see. I mean, if they focus on a defensive lineman, like there are a bunch of edge rushers. Um, D I D L. Chris Jenkins seems to be one. Devondre Sweat. I've been hearing his name a lot around the league. Like, pretty much people are looking at him. Uh, Yeah, so, like, I feel like they should focus on that. I feel like in terms of their draft, they have a solid hold. And they have a decent amount of picks, too, because, you know, the fifth overall pick with the fact that they went 5-12, and like, and so on and so forth, I feel like they can have a strong draft. And given that Jim Harbaugh has more um, say now in what he wants in his personnel, it can only be a good thing for the Los Angeles Chargers. And I'm really excited because that's this could be a really good team with finally some good head coaching because, you know, Jim Harbaugh has been sought out throughout the league. Chicago Bears, you know, could have interviewed him, but I'm not going to go there. But, yes, they're going to be pretty good. Um, in terms of their salary cap, like, you know, they're, yeah, they're over the cap by 44 mil. I feel like if they free up some space when it comes to free agents, like, really, Khalil Mack, Mike Williams, and Mike Williams and Khalil Mack are the ones that take up pretty much the most, and I feel like that could be like free agents, I mean, or that could be like a potential option for other teams to take. Um, But I feel like rebuilding this team and kind of like not rebuild like a full on rebuild, but like retooling this team would definitely be an easy option now with like a solid like grasp in the head coaching spot. And, you know, with more, like experience and stuff like I feel like Justin Herbert can have a really good team like adding addition to a run game uh, in a in addition to uh crap what is it, what's his name uh the running back for um the running back for the Chargers yeah so like if if they like focus on that uh let me find it real quick cuz I remember reading something about that um yeah, Austin Eckler, that's what I was saying. Austin Eckler, if he, like, you know, ends up walking and becomes a free agent, you know, like, adding more young, water, like, running backs could definitely help because now you have Greg Roman to develop them. And, you know, retaining some free agents. Um, there's also pursuit of a woozy, woozy, I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce it, cornerback to add beef up that defense, sorry, the, cor- the secondary and... Yeah, like I said, oh, D- Newton from Illinois and Tavondre Sweat. Yes, those two should be considered. Neighbors should be considered for the offensive side. If they hit on these things, I think they're going to be really good. So, yeah, that's it for this like thing. What do you think about you know this whole hiring process? What do you think about the potential that they have for the offseason? I feel like the Chargers are going to be a solid team to look at. And... Yeah, that's it for this video. Please remember to like and subscribe and comment down below what you think about the Chargers situation. It's one of the more unique situations in the league. And I'll see you guys in the next one.